Mr. Anandu. Hearty congratulations on securing All India Rank 68 in electrical branch of engineering in GATE 2022. Thank you very much, sir. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Anandu, please tell us uh, what type of coaching program that you have taken from our ACE Engineering Academy. Okay, sir. So I actually passed out in 2019. So after that, I went for my placements. But I, I was not satisfied, so I decided to prepare for GATE 2021. So at first, I opted for uh, offline course for uh, at June. But because of COVID, we, uh, we couldn't attend the offline courses. So it was pushed to online courses. And everything was very good. The faculties were all really cooperative. The classes were really good. And the study materials, the volume one materials, volume two materials, everything was really good. But what happened is I made three fatal mistakes that year, which we are not supposed to make. And also the faculties also say we should not make three mistakes. And that was, I didn't give much importance to my test series. And I didn't give importance to revision as well as short notes. So what happened is at the day of the examination, for 2021 gate my time management was really bad and also uh, I, I kept forgetting even the smallest formula so what happened is I, I managed to just qualify the exam only and my old India rank was close to 10,000 or something uh, I think 10,700 or something so obviously I was really sad and all but uh, I thought to myself maybe I should learn from these mistakes and I should lose hope so I tried again for 2022 so this year uh, I made some uh, new arrangements. So I decided to uh, like uh, complete the entire syllabus within October and dedicate December and January for the series only. And I put November kind of like a buffer. So what happened is I finished the entire syllabus by November. Then December and January I opted for entirely test series and revision only. So one thing I really like these days test series actually. I've actually taken test series of other institution too. They are also really good. But for me personally. The uh, the ACE test series were good because it were a little bit more difficult. I was getting rank, I mean score close to 60, 70 in the test series. And in the exam, uh, I was also able to better manage my time. And my gate rank score was 78 or something. And I managed to get rank of all India rank 68. Okay. Good, Anand. Right, good. See, uh... You took this online live classes last year, 2021, right? 21. 21. For 21K, you took this online live classes. Yes, sir, online live classes. So that time, because of your poor uh, preparation and all, you couldn't score, right? So yes, again, uh, for GATE 2022, a full dedicated uh, preparation you have made. Yes, sir. I managed to avoid those mistakes that I made last year. Okay. One thing, uh, Anand. So this gate 2022 means you might have prepared it definitely around 10 months of time, right? Minimum. Yes, so after March, April itself, I started preparing. So after April also means at least around eight to nine months preparation you have made rigorously. Yes, sir. Okay, please elaborate on this nine months of preparation time exclusively in the gate preparation. So how you used to schedule daily? How many hours you used to prepare daily? How many subjects you prepared? So how you used to schedule this preparation also? Can you please elaborate these points? Okay, so first I picked out the subjects which are the most weightage. So for electric, it was max power system, electronics, and control system networks and all. So I started preparing these uh, max, I mean power system first. So I'll be getting up around 7, 7 a.m. So after uh, having breakfast, I'll start by 8. So for 8 to 12, I'll just... Uh, read my notebooks and read the concepts and everything i'll read so after that i'll uh, I'll, I'll take some rest and by 1 pm i'll come back and again i'll revise those things and uh, after uh, 1 pm to 4 i'll be re same thing revision revision only uh, so and the evening uh, i'll take some breaks and then come back about 7 pm then what i'll do is uh, i try to take the volume on material and i'll try to do the entire thing one one time uh, and that if I'm not finished uh, in the same day itself, I'll work till 12 p.m. After that, the next also I'll be trying to finish that volume one. Then I'll take volume two materials, then previous year. So I won't wait to complete the entire subjects before taking the previous year. I actually complete some portion. Then I'll check the previous year for the questions that are related to that particular topic. So I'll be around 7 to 12 hours my preparation times. Okay. So 7 to 12 hours preparation daily. Right. Yes, sir. So, did you spend time on only one subject, otherwise more than one subject daily? 
Uh, at start, I, I was preparing, I mean, focusing on the core subjects only uh, for like when I began my preparation. Then after no, some wait, time... Wait, Mr. Anand. Per day, you tell us, how many okay. subjects you prepare? Per day, at the start, I was preparing only one subject. Then after that, I was getting comfort, more comfortable with the pace and all. So I started preparing two. Then, then I'll be revising the subject that I had already completed and making short notes also. So that way, I, I was keeping in touch with the other, other subjects also and not forgetting the concepts. Okay, right. I got the point, right. Uh, Anandu, initially you joined for offline classes because of the COVID conditions, offline converted into online classes. Yes, I actually wanted to come off to offline. Uh, that was the only option available. So when, yes. you, are, when you are at home, uh, yes, attending this online live classes, uh, sitting alone in room, right? So yes, what sir. was your experience on that? So actually, I thought it would be really difficult and it would be really hard. But the thing is, it was actually really nice. I didn't, I didn't even see how the time was passing. And we could interact more freely with the faculties also. They used to, like, if the classes were over by 10 p.m. also, they'll be staying till everyone's doubt is completed. So we can ask more freely. So, like, I was kind, if it was in the normal class, I'd be a little bit shy, maybe. Maybe I won't ask the questions. Maybe I'll think that, okay, I'll be embarrassed or something. But here I'll be asking anything and he'll be replying it uh, replying it very politely also. So yeah, everything else. Actually, I liked online classes only better. That is one uh, interesting feature in this online live classes. So yes, nothing to feel shy about this, right? Normally in offline classes, you know, when the student comes to the class and yeah. when yeah, we have students there, you generally feel shyness, right? Yes, yes. There. Yeah. In our online live classes, we have made a facility that you can interact with the faculty members, right? Uh, and they will also we, we allocated some classes exclusively for doubt clearance also. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. At the last time they have a class. Difficult. You felt more comfortable online yes, classes of Yes Academy. So very comfortable for me. I didn't even see the time pass by. Okay, right. Uh, Anandu, in our area, suppose some junior comes to you. Okay, and sir. Six your advice uh, to go for gate coaching uh, between offline and online. And also we have one more, our deep learning card class also there. Which one do you suggest to the students? So I'll be suggesting online only because if we're taking deep learn, like we have to schedule it ourselves and we have to watch the videos. But you know, like in online classes, it will be like regular classes also. This advantage of online, I mean offline and also deep learning platform is there are two advantages, right? The classes will be recorded also and put, put in the next day. So we can watch it again and again, like three times we can watch. Normally, just two times is more than enough. So I'll be pre like suggesting online class only, sir. For more right. because it's comfortable for me. Okay, right. Uh, Anandu, while attending this online live classes. Yes, sir. So did you prepare any notes simultaneously? Yes, sir, I used to because uh, like a lot of time was given for writing notes also. The classes were really low and the uh, like faculties used to say one concept more over. So we had more than enough time to write the notes. So I'll be writing the notes. The following day, like while, while I was preparing the concepts, I'll be making short notes only. So you prepare short notes also? Like first time, uh, the short note preparation wasn't up to mark. That's why my performance was also bad. But the second time, I made sure that I give adequate time for preparing short notes. So second time means when you appeared uh, gate 2021, you did not prepare short notes? No, so that was the biggest mistake. Ah, because okay. when revising... 2022, you prepared short notes and yes, you went on revising it effectively. Yes, sir. That like, is one of the key factors in our success. What do you want to say? Is it? Yes, sir. Re revision and test series. Because test series helps us to manage. Time management is important. Time management also. Yes, so how could you practice to get this time management? Can you tell us? Okay. Uh, what I did first, like I was experimenting with different things. So when, was I, when I was doing test series, what I did is first I tried to attempt the two more questions and see if we could, uh, like, which was easier. Then I tried to uh, go the conventional frame, way from question 1 to 65. And I, I was finding my own way which was comfortable for me. Like I was experimenting with the test series, so which were, which were more comfortable for me. Okay, right. Uh, another one more thing. Uh, this uh, online live classes yes, and the uh, study materials we have given you, volume 1, volume 2, and yes, bits and bytes, previous question bank, etc. Yes, Is it an option for your git preparation or do you think that any extra test book required to be referred? Uh, no, sir. I think it is more than sufficient, but I also bought one ESC previsor also, just in case. 
so that there there's a lot more theory there too so i also like used to uh, take those previous question but i think volume 1 volume 2 is more than enough like in volume 2 also, in itself we have two level 1 and level 2 questions this level 2 questions are very hard and like uh, they are like brain teasers only so it's uh, like more than enough material is there so it's sufficient for get examination right more than sufficient no need to refer to again test book again uh okay if you want i think maybe if in control system and all maybe if you want you could refer to electronics there uh, material also like if you're preparing for ac you'll need other like ac previous or but i was only preparing for gate so the material given to me was enough okay anandu in your electrical there are many subjects right we have yes, sir. okay which subject did you feel more difficult Uh, for me mainly the electronic subjects and uh, like communication subjects are difficult for me sometimes signals signals and systems and uh, control system was uh, okay mainly signals and system only the rest all subjects even though i didn't like it in college even my electrical subjects i didn't used to like but because of the all classes the faculties actually fell in love with my electrical core subjects power system and power electronics and all so for me i the only difficulty i felt was maybe a little bit from the electronics side only okay right uh, anandu uh, actually when did you finish up this uh, syllabus i was planning to finish by october, october. and i put, now put november as a buffer so okay by november you could quick come to this uh, what you call preparation and all so the how you spend that uh, november part of the november month uh, december january sorry what sir you do? what you used to do in the november month uh, december month uh i think november and december we can uh, we should give a full time for revision i think uh, that would be better because uh, I, I, like some subjects i learned in april also so i will be forgetting a lot of the way and concepts so it's better to revise and give full dedication to test series like if you do test series you will know where you are weak in so you can improve in that area also so it is better okay. for revision right. uh, you, you use that last two months of time for revision purpose is it not last december and january i was hoping for your revision and i will be doing test series per weekly weekly basis then what you used to do in the last one week before the actual examination one week uh, like uh, seven days uh, so uh, i was uh, the first day uh, like three days before the gate also i, I wrote a mock test uh, for the last week one mock test i did and then i think i was revising the entire so i was going through all my short notes i was just, i also used to write this small concepts from problems like some problems if i didn't know i used to write it down also so i'll be checking those problems also so in the last week i was uh, going through the entire revision material right okay then what was uh, your strategy of uh, tackling the questions in the actual gate examination the actual gate exam okay sir so the one thing is uh, this year the most of the questions i think i like i knew what the concepts were so what i did is uh, first i will be reading the questions if i didn't know it i'll be Leave, leaving for um, a review and then be going for the next question mm. uh, if you know a question what i do it i'll write the entire data which is given and i'll think which formula i could use or what is the concept here for which part this question is from so i'll be checking into that okay right uh, and many should say that uh, you need to have a good practice uh, on the virtual calculator uh, that okay. is very important how did you practice on the virtual calculator in your preparation okay uh, during preparation i said that i'll be starting like by daily 7 then i'll be uh, like uh, doing volume 2 vol- volume one when i'm doing volume 1 volume 2 also then will be a, i will only be using virtual calculator only i'll be from my net i'll be downloading one virtual calculator so i'll be never using the other scientific calculator not so did that, you use that virtual calculator that app from the cell phone uh, not on the cell phone the from from net there is one gate online virtual calculator is there from pc or something okay right so you download it uh, in in our laptop sir so then i'll be using it for end calculation only so, so by the end of do it, no let me compare it using the mouse uh... yes sir, i'll be using mouse mouse to operate the virtual calculator right? that's a good practice yes, yes. because in the actual examination also you have I to operate smart. that uh, virtual calculator with the mouse only now uh, you have to know where all the functions are or else it will be really that's difficult okay you have to use with your mouse right Yes, we have to use the thing yeah. also. The same thing you had in the practice also. Yes, sir. The same thing I will be doing. I had one app, so I will be using my mouse screen. Okay. Uh, totally, how many revisions you would have given, uh, Mr. Anand? Uh, I think I will have maybe three three revisions. So uh, maybe fully completed by three. But uh, in between, there are different exams are coming also. 
so i'll be preparing for that exam so i'll be completing the entire subjects for so like different pscs used to call like be a bar and all okay. so i'll be, uh, like uh, completely for gate i was pre- uh, like uh, revision for three times but before that for exams also i used to complete the entire subject so maybe right. more than five or six okay right okay anand so from this experience we had the that almost a two years of journey in the gate examination yes, so, uh, first of all let me ask you first of all which college are you from from kerala I, state tkm college of engineering from kerala where is it in kollam kerala kerala sir no in the, in the district i am asking kerala okay it is my college name is tkm college of engineering it's from kollam southern most part of andhra right when did you pass out 2019 august sir 2019 august you passed out so yes. you went on giving gate 20 gate 21 gate 22 also right no sir i went for job early placement acha initially you did job for some time right yes so i could like you gave gate attempts in the gate 2021 2022 21 and 22 okay right uh, mr anand after btech you said you joined some job right yes sir then why did you leave the job why what prompted to go and uh, prepare for the gate examination seriously uh, so actually uh, like i was not satisfied with the job because it was out of my field it was it field and i didn't want to get tied up with it for too long and even the experience if i wanted to go to core the it experience wouldn't count so i knew that i had to do something so the best opportunity was to g- go for gate right okay anand so from this long journey of around two years uh, preparation in the gate examination and all so now with this uh, you got a good rank 68 uh, i think okay. you are the one of the person to say some tips to the aspirants of the gate examination particularly from electrical branch uh, what tips that you want to share with your juniors okay the first thing is like everything might not go as planned so don't lose hope don't lose motivation also uh, the start it might be a little bit difficult but at time everything will be easy so give more importance to the core subjects like uh, power system powertronics max yeah okay max is one thing that you have to give good importance to because there is more than 50 marks from max uh, from max will be there so the uh, powertronics power system max and control system network these are all scoring subjects so you should prepare that also very well right very good uh, anand so with this uh, gate 68th rank what do you want to do do you want to join any psc or going for mtech admission uh, I'm, my first option is psc only sir okay right so you will be trying for both psc as well as mtech admission so depending yeah. upon the actual like results i'll be choosing yeah okay whichever the best one then we are going to choose that one is it it okay very good uh, anand thank uh, you sir shared the nice points with us and one more yes, question sir. I want to say that you are suggesting your juniors that you have to be, uh, you have to stay focused and you have to be what you call, um, you should have some what you call motivation and all. So when you want to make such two years of preparation, so how to be motivated there? Okay, the, uh, what I used to see is I used to like uh, see all these interviews actually from other people's like their success story. They used to say things like, oh, we prepared for three years, two years, and I'll be like, okay, I can also do it. Yes, yes. So that is a good point, Anand. Actually, so whenever you watch the videos of the toppers like you, right? Yes. So when you listen to those successful stories, etc., definitely you know, get, uh, inspired and you derive that what you call the motivation. Yes, sir. So let us hope that the juniors will watch your interview also. They will derive some motivation from your, what you call, you said initially you had a job, right? So in the IT sector, you did job for some months because you did not derive any satisfaction there. Again, you came out, you prepared rigorously for two years, right? Yes, sir. This uh, journey and finally the successful rank, what you got, 68. Thank you, sir. Definitely motivate others also to go in the symbol line. Okay. Uh, I wish you good luck in all your future endeavors and congratulate you once again, Mr. Anand. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Good luck.